Okay, in this video we're going to be checking out a new 4-in-1 ESC from HackRC. Uh, this is a 32-bit ESC, uh, 50 amps, and 3 uh, three to 6S capable. It's got this really nice uh, heat sink here on top. I think it's aluminum. But let me just go over the specs here real quick here. So you got a 36 by 36 bores, so it's a 30 by 30 mounting style. 16 grams, 50 amps, uh, uh, continuous, and uh, 65 amps uh, burst, 3 to 6 S LiPo. Uh, five, it has a 5 volt, uh, 3 amp um, voltage regulator. there. And it comes with a 9R60 uh, microfarad low ESR capacitor, and it uh, does obviously up to DSHOT 1200. It includes a current sensor, and then the other side of here is a little chart on the um, motor outputs. The uh, motor one is over here on the uh, lower left. Uh, you have a uh, plug here for the the different uh, outputs to your flight controller, uh, current sensor, 5 volts, your motor outputs, uh, VCC, which is battery voltage, and then ground. And this, this is the wiring loom that's included here. Obviously it covers all of those outputs and but the other side doesn't have a plug you have to solder that onto whatever flight controller you have or if you have a flight controller that comes with a plug with uh, connectors on both sides um, if it doesn't quite match up this output here then you could perhaps uh, swap some wires around but it, most likely you'll have to probably cut these and solder them onto whatever flight controller connector you have or do direct soldering to your flight controller so uh, it's not because there's so many different models and stuff. Not not always the the, the pins won't pin outputs won't always match for every every flight controller out there because some of them will vary. Yeah, so this is the capacitor that's included. It's uh I think it's uh, up to 35 volts. Yeah, now it said it's 960 microfarads, but this one says 470 microfarads. And you also get this XD60. It's included. And this comes with a 14 gauge wire. And these are the uh, mounting stuff that's included. Interestingly, countersunk screws and some nylon standoffs. So that's pretty much it that comes with it. Uh, pretty basic. Not a whole lot here. And it says that it has a current sensor on here, but I think that is going to be underneath this heat sink, which doesn't look like it's going to be too easy to pop off. And uh, probably, probably glued on. So there's probably a bunch of capacitors and stuff there for filtering. There's, you can see there's some over here. It looks like they have some sort of conformal coating or something on the bottom of this ESC, so maybe for protection from moisture, perhaps. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice, it's pretty large, 50 amp, 4 and 1, 32-bit ESC, and 6S capable, so it ought to perform pretty well. But this is just an overview video on this. I will have um, this probably in uh, some sort of a 6S build. I think I want to definitely push this. And I'm not sure what yet and what flight controller I'm going to pair it with. But uh, stay tuned for a future video. If you guys have any suggestions on other parts that I've done overview, overviews for, like another flight controller that you want to see this pa uh, paired up with, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see, uh, I'll take those suggestions into consideration because yeah right at this point I'm a little open <laughs> not sure what I'm going to do with it and I'm open to suggestions so let me know in the comments below